Hey everybody, so I get to ask this question a lot like if I wanted to treat myself and I can't afford a Chanel, a Hermes or a Celine bag, what type of bag should I get? So since answering a lot of these questions on TikTok, I thought that today I wanted to showcase a bag that I feel is very affordable very unique and it's made out of absolutely amazing materials and I do think that this brand is really worth for you to check out because it's been around since 2015 the bags are very iconic you could really spot the brand identity even from the bags and I thought that that was really interesting and I have been really curious about mid-range affordable luxury bags because simply I do think that in the market right now a lot of luxury brands are just so out of our budget and buying a bag it costs probably like eight thousand ten thousand dollars and it's just simply not very affordable for a lot of people so in recent years as you can tell like a lot of people have been looking for brands that are not so famous a little bit cooler and i've seen that there has been a transformation in the mid-range luxury segment in the past you would probably see cheap versus luxury bags like it's only two extremes but in recent years there has been so many different brands coming out from different parts of the world asian designers uh, uk based designers us designers australian based designers and i thought it'd be fun to actually talk about a specific brand that has really caught my attention and this brand makes extremely luxurious um really fun bags but made out of really good quality as well and the same brand is called Yuzefi. So Yuzefi is actually a brand founded in 2015. It is a female founder. Uh, she, the brand is based out of London. Uh, all of their bags are made really high quality and they have this really unique shape which I thought I wanted to really take the chance to show all of you. You would have probably seen somebody wear this bag and I thought that um, you know, because I live in Indonesia, it's really hard for me to access these bags without paying a crazy amount of tax. I was lucky enough to find that Fashion Forth, a luxury reseller platform, actually carries this brand, which I think was really nice. So if you're looking to actually see what Fashion Forth has to offer, do check out my caption uh, because I've also put in a special discount code for you guys. So I did a bit of research as to how this brand came about, who founded it. So it's founded by this uh, female designer. Her name is Naza Yusefi. So Yusefi is just a different way of spelling her name, her family name. And one of the first bags that I saw on Fashion Forth was this particular bag called the Yusefi Bomb bag so i believe that this is not um the current season bag and that's why it's going for 4.7 million rupiah this makes it the cheapest bag actually on fashion fourth from this brand and that i've picked out this bag it's pretty interesting because as you would actually realize later on most of her bags actually has um a shoulder strap that you can carry on your arms like this or as a sling bag and i thought that that was really interesting because it's very functional and it's just not a ridiculous good looking but serves no purpose type of bag so in what she mentioned in some of the interviews that i read is that um, she was very inspired by fashion uh, from a very early age because she grew up in Iran and she saw a lot of women actually making a lot of fashion decisions for themselves. So I think that's really when she saw the function of fashion for women. And as I'm looking at the bag, I think that for a affordable mid-range, say below 
600 700 us dollar type of bags i think they're super well made the leather is very great the leather in my opinion is definitely genuine leather calf leather but it's made with like really good attention to details like stitchings uh, hardware drawstring functionality and when you're paying for mid-range designer bags like this they pay a lot of attention to the quality and i think they did a really fantastic job translating that because obviously i took this out from the dust bag and i absolutely love it all right the next bag that i have is i was really intrigued by the shape of it because structurally it's not easy to make a bag like that and that is the yusefi mini fortune cookie bag and i think uh, out of all of their bags even if this isn't the most expensive one i personally think that this bag is just so well made and it just looks so unique and i later found out that this fortune cookie shape is one of their most significant traits in the yusefi brand for me i think when a designer is able to create structural pieces like that that holds its shape but at the same time functional and looks classic it's a really big deal this bag costs 5.2 million rupiah which is around 400 to 420 us dollar and i think this is something that i would really consider buying because if you take a look at the quality of the bag it is beautiful the leather is amazing stitching is so nice and what i really like about this bag and it really reminds me of the gabriella hearst nina bags or any bags from a collection is that it is held together by a snap button you open it up you open it up and you can immediately access all of your items and say if i were to take out the stuffings you could see like immediately you could reach out to your back right and if you wanted to close it you just tuck it in and it snaps close just like that it is functional it's not a ridiculous mini bag that serves no function so definitely i do think that this one is one of their very popular uh, shape uh, i've seen like big versions of this and i thought that this is like a, a beautifully made bag all right next up on my list is this really interesting bag um, and i think this is also one of their classic uh, silhouette this is called the yusefi wonton twisted top right uh, and this comes in black color i saw that on their website on the yusefi website they do have this in many different shades so i think the ethos of the brand is taking a classic shape and turning it into like different color options that suits your lifestyle and your uh, wardrobe needs so um this bag is very similar to the bomb drawstring bag it's both very structured and as you can see they are very similar in shapes except what happens is with this dumpling bag it has a handle that is connected down right to the sides of the bag so structurally this is a lot more complicated than compared to the first drawstring bag this one goes for 5.1 million rupiah on fashion for uh, platform it also comes with a shoulder strap which i thought was a nice detail reading on the different interviews that the founder has given i do come to realize that a lot of the inspiration that she gets for this brand is shapes structures and perhaps art i do see one really interesting point um, pointed out in this interview i read on the internet is that when creating a collection she really thinks about the price range for a consumer i think the problem with luxury brands is that over the last few years you've probably seen on social media how the quality has 
deteriorated um, even as prices increase for me it is a perfect casual bag not so much for a evening sort of formal occasion because it's a little bit too big but if they made this in a smaller size which I don't know if they do this would be perfect for evening events so this one is the third pricier bag from the Yusefi collection on Fashion 4th all right for the last bag that I have in this video I do think that you're gonna get really excited about the shape and I mean I was really excited because as I checked their website I think this might be their classic collection so this is the Yusefi twisted no it's the Yusefi pretzel bag with the twisted top this in my opinion is such a cute bag the shape is a crescent moon like this it's one handle and if you're opening the bag you go straight into like the insides suede and leather it is obviously very structured you can see it and the leather is amazing it's thick it holds its shape and to be really honest i was quite surprised that this will only set me back 5.6 million rupiah because for a bag like this either it's from louis Vuitton or celine would probably cost you two thousand dollars and above i believe that um this bag is really popular because this brand has made this in so many different colorways and i think that this bag is really unique on its own it identifies as Yusefi bag for me personally even if this is the most expensive bag i don't see myself using this a lot simply because it looks way too casual um i don't like how big it is like for me this is pretty big i feel like this could be like a casual bag but i'm not entirely sure about the structured handle because i feel like it kind of gets in the way as a functional bag so i do think that it's a cute bag and if you're in the market for a unique looking um, but well-made bag you should definitely check out the pretzel bag by yusefi so after reviewing like four different bags from Yusefi, I feel like I could really attest to the quality of their bags. Uh, I definitely think that their bags are very unique. They are obviously pretty well made, great leather, great craftsmanship, very affordable. Most bags I believe are under 700 us dollar or even 600 us dollar on fashion for platform i'm very excited for this brand and to be really honest i've checked out their website and they do also sell clothes so thank you so much fashion for because because of you i've discovered this mid-range luxury brand that i am so excited about so i'll definitely go check out more of their items from their website